Hello everyone, it's me Joshua Smith again, and I'm here to bring you another video, just kind of celebrate uh, my uh, recent 2,000 plus views on my channel. And once again, thank you all for all that you, you know, been doing, watching, uh, everything like that, requesting videos, so on and so forth. Uh, so I just wanted to bring you a little something uh, where I basically show off my entire um, pop album collection, and um, I just want to clarify that it's not just like straight pop. This is also like funk. Uh, soul, R&B, stuff like that. So I kind of mix it all together into one little thing. Um, and I'm going to do it in about three parts because I have, I mean, like, next to my rock collection, um, my pop collection takes up the majority of my my um, collection, my um, of albums. So I'm going to do it in about three parts. And fair warning, um, a lot of my collection consists of Prince and Michael Jackson in particular, as well as Stevie Wonder. Um, so my first one I'm going to do is basically my um, my like compilation album collection because um, that's I have a fair chunk of those, um, and then I'll do the other parts where it's all studio albums, which will come in the second and third part. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get this started. The first compilation album I have here is uh, Prince the Hits One, and I don't have the original um, casing for it. I apologize, but um. This is a good collection of uh, Prince hits, if you're into Prince, if you're into like, you know, pop music from the 80s. Um, it has stuff like When Doves Cry, Soft and Wet, um, I Feel For You, you know, uh, Uptown, uh, 1999, stuff like that. So a lot of really good Prince hits on this album. Um, so it, like, basically if you really want to get into Prince but don't want to like invest yet in like all of his albums, I don't see why you wouldn't want to. But um, if you really like want to get into Prince and see what he's about, um, from like his earlier years, I suppose you can check out like the Prince, like uh, Prince the Hits and stuff like that, and it'll give you a good idea of what he's about. So, Prince the Hits one. The second album I have here is the Ultimate Bee Gees, which is basically a 50th anniversary um, collection of um, Bee Gees hits. And um, if you take this out here, <coughs> excuse me, you have the uh, Brothers Gibb when they were also alive, of course. Um, of course, only one of them is left alive. But um, this is, like, basically the definitive collection because it has, um, like, hit songs that go all the way back from the 60s to the early 2000s. So this is basically, like, if you want to get into the Bee Gees or want to see, like, what like it sound like or what they're about, this is probably what you want to get. This is, like, the definitive collection of Bee Gees hits. So, yeah, the ultimate Bee Gees. Next one we have here is The Best of War and More. Um, this is a collection of um, War, the, the funk band War. This is like their hits. Um, so that songs like Low Rider, The Cisco Kid, Spill the Wine, uh, Why Can't We Be Friends, so on and so forth. So it's a good collection of War songs. I'm not a you know a huge fan of War, um, but you know a lot of these songs in there are really really good. So if you're into funk bands or funk music or anything like that, and also into like uh, groups that like combine different genres and stuff like that. This is a really good collection for you. So, yeah, the best of war and more. All right, these next two, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I don't know a lot about, and I've actually never heard either of them. But uh, they are both by this uh, group called Oasis CD Manufacturing. I guess that's just like the manufacturing company, of course. Um, but one of them is um, Oasis Urban Volume Five Street and Soul. And the other one is Oasis Acoustic, and this, I don't believe this is the Oasis band. I think it's just, like, a bunch of different artists and groups, like, um, you know, doing different songs and recording and stuff, so I figured since they were by, like, the, um, hold on, I mean, yeah, okay. So I figured since they were both by, like, the, um, like, the same, you know, manufacturing group, I'd just show them off both. Um, and like I said, I'd never heard either of these, but I, I guess I should give them a check out, give them a listen and see what, you know, if they're any good. But anyways, yeah, um, two things by the Oasis CD Manufacturing Company, so, yeah. This next album is Legend, The Best of Bob Marley and the Wailers, and I have to tell you that if you're into Bob Marley or reggae in general, this is a really good pickup. Um, it has, like, most of, like, their best hits, you know, like, Is This Love, um, Buffalo Soldier, Get Up, Stand Up, One Love, I Shot the Sheriff, uh, Exodus Jamming, uh, Redemption Song, so many great hits on this one album. So if you're into Bob Marley, you know, definitely pick this up. This is like something that you really have to get if you're a Bob Marley fan or into reggae. The next album is Chic, 
Dance, 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 and other hits, and I don't have the uh, cover for this, um, but this is just like, you know, chic hits if you're into disco, stuff like that. Uh, they have like La Freak, um, Everybody Dance, 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 of course, Good Times, um, I Want Your Love, Real People, stuff like that. <clears throat> so if you're into disco or chic, definitely pick this up. This next one is The History of Funk, Volume 4, In Your Face, and this is just like um, a compilation of uh, funk hits by different funk artists and bands, such as uh, Sly and the Family Stone, James Brown, Cool and the Gang, Graham Central Station, Parliament, uh, Marvin Gaye, Earth, Wind and & Fire, so on and so forth, so it's a great collection of different hits, and I guess if you want to, like, you know, get more volumes of this, this is the only volume that I have, Volume uh, 4, so <clears throat> definitely get this if you're into, like, funk music, again, so, yeah. Um, History of Funk, Volume 4, In Your Face. This next album is, um, Earth, Wind & Fire Super Hits, and, um, this is a collection of, like, Earth, Wind & Fire's best hits, of course. Um, you have, like, Shining Star, In the Stone, September, um, Boogie Wonderland, Got to Get You in My Life, stuff like that. So it's a really, really good collection. I definitely recommend that you pick this up. If you want to get into Earth, Wind & Fire, this is a very, very easy gateway to get into them. This next one is The Best of Sade, and I don't have the uh, original case for this one either. Um, and to be honest, I am not a, uh, I don't know a lot about Sade. I'm not a huge fan of Sade. Um, I should probably listen to her music, though, so I can see what she's really about. Um, this was actually my dad's originally, so I, he likes Sade. But um, I guess I should check this, this album out and see what it's about. So yeah, The Best of Sade. This next album is Rick James Icon. A very great collection of hits from a very talented artist. Um, this has like Super Freak, Bustin' Out, Mary Jane, Ebony Eyes, um, which features Smokey Robinson, um, Dance With Me, stuff like that. So very, very good collection of hits. And um, if you want to get into someone like J uh, Rick James, who is a very, very great artist by the way, definitely check this one out. Now this next one is The Vault, Old Friends for Sale by Prince, and it's kind of debated whether or not this is an actual compilation album or studio album, but um, it basically is a collection of, um, of like, uh, songs that he did, and this was actually uh, Prince's last album with, um, <clears throat> with Warner Bros. before he split and went to Arista, um, but, you know, and it's not the best, I mean, you know, in terms of, like, Prince, you know, compilation albums, this is definitely not one of his better ones. It has some really good songs in here, like, um, It's About That Walk, She Spoke To Me, Five Women, stuff like that, but, um, it's really not the best. They, like, Warner Brothers is basically just like, um, well, we have some leftover Prince songs here, so we're gonna take those and just throw them onto, an, uh, you know, an album really quickly and sell it. So that's what they did, and people were hoping for something more... I guess better than this because they you know, like they were saying Prince the vault like you know because Prince is known for having you know like thousands and thousands of songs they were hoping for something really really special with this but they only got some ra rather subpar material so I mean you know here you go the vault uh, old French for sale by Prince now this next one is a very very it's very it's a much better compilation album for Prince um, this is uh, Prince the Hits 2, uh, the second part of that um, other Prince the Hits um, album. And um, this is basically a bunch of hits from Dirty Minds up until about the Love Simple album, I'd say. So you have like Controversy, uh, Dirty Mind, I Wanna Be Your Lover. Oh, actually, Prince, um, his self titled album up until about the Love Simple album. My, my apologies. But um, um, <clears throat> like Delirious, Little Red Corvette, I Would Die For You, Raspberry Beret so on and so forth, and above all, Purple Rain. So this is a really good compilation um, album for Prince songs. If you also want to get into Prince, this is a very good place to start as well, um, but also get like the other ones and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, Prince the hits too. Keeping up with the funk, we have Greatest Funk and Hits uh, by George Clinton. This is basically a collection of George Clinton songs um, with like um, <clears throat> Parliament and Funkadelic and stuff like that. So you have like Atomic Dog, of course, Flashlight, um, Bop Gun, Mothership Connection, Knee Deep, um, and other like like remixes of different songs like Atomic Dog. You have like um, like two different versions of Atomic Dog on here, uh, like two different um, <clears throat> Mothership Connections on here. So this is a really good collection of George Clinton songs in particular. But you know, Parliament Funkadelic, it's a really good uh, collection right here. So Greatest Funkin' Hits by George Clinton. So this next one is Stevie Wonder, The Definitive Collection. 
Um, this basically is a wonderful, uh, wonderful, um, amazing collection of Stevie Wonder hits that go from like his first album uh, when he was a child, Little Stevie Wonder, up until about In Square Circle. Um, it goes from Fingertips Part 2, it has 21 tracks, and the final track is Part Time Lover, which is from In Square Circle. But it has stuff like uh, My Sharia Moore, uh, Science Seal Delivered, Superstition, Higher Ground, Living for the City, I Wish, Sir Duke, Master Blaster, so many uh, great hits. And um, it was this that actually got me more into Stevie Wonder, who is now like my favorite artist. So this is a really good way to get into Stevie Wonder like I did. So yeah, Stevie Wonder, The Definitive Collection. So these next five albums are um, are all grouped in the uh, basically the same category, um, and what I mean by that is that they are all a part of a, a series called 20th Century Masters, which is basically the most um, common a form of like compilation albums you're going to find when looking for albums. Um, so yeah, the first one is uh, the best of the Four Tops, a uh, classic uh, Motown group. Um, has tons of songs like, uh, like, I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, um, Reach Out I'll Be There, Ain't No Woman Like The One I've Got, stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, the best of the four tops. Next in the 20th Century Masters is the best of Parliament. Um, I already showed you a, um, George Clinton, uh, compilation album. So this is basically the band that he created, um, along with Funkadelic, but this is, like, all Parliament, so you have, like, P-Funk wants to get funk dump, uh, Give Up the Funk, Flashlight, um, Up for the Downstroke, and other such classics like that. Um, so yeah, if you want to get into some really funky goodness, this is definitely for you. Next up is the best of Al Green, and Al Green is perhaps one of the greatest singers of all time. So, you know, you have stuff like Tired of Being Alone, uh, You've Got a Friend, uh, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, etc, etc, etc. So a lot of great hits on here. So if you want to get into someone who's really, really, really good at singing and, you know, vocals and everything, some really great soul classics, this is for you. Next is the best of, um, this is also volume one, the 60s, uh, The Temptations. And um, The Temptations, of course, is one of the greatest um, male groups, one of the greatest, you know, groups of all time. Uh, you have songs like My Girl, Beauty is Only Skin Deep, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, Cloud Nine, and I'm sorry, uh, there is no Pop Was a Rolling Stone in here, but, you know, this album is, you know, really, really great if you want to get into uh, Temptations. If you want to get into some really, really great soul music, this is definitely what you need right here. We finally come to our last um, compilation album, and that is the best of the Jackson 5. Um, everybody knows the Jackson 5 is where, you know, Michael Jackson got his start. It's him, you know, as a kid with his brothers. Um, this uh, compilation album has stuff like I Want You Back, ABC, um, I'll Be There, Never Can Say Goodbye, Sugar Daddy, I Want to Be Where You Are, Maybe Tomorrow, you know, a lot of their <clears throat> classic Jackson 5 hits. Um, also, the Jacksons, you know. So, um, you know, if you want to get into some classic Michael Jackson or just... Jackson 5 in general, and this is definitely what you need. But anyways, thank you for joining me. I know this was a bit of a lengthy video. I know a lot of stuff, you know, I didn't say too much on or, you know, didn't know too much about. But, um, I just wanted to kind of give you a look at what I, you know, have collected over the past uh, few years. Uh, some stuff I've gotten over the past several months and so on and so forth. And maybe share with you, you know, a little, a couple of my thoughts. Not anything complex or complicated or anything. Just tell you a little bit about, you know, what I have. Anyways, uh, thank you once again for joining me. I uh, look forward to uh, about two more of these coming really soon. Because <clears throat> I have a, a, you know, a really big collection, so I want to kind of split things up a bit more. So that it's not like one really, really long video that's really boring. Because you know, this, this video itself was lengthy and I'm making it even more lengthy by saying all this, this um, junk. So I'm going to end it here and say thank you once again for like the third time for watching. And so long.